everybody! Hello! How are you? I hope you're doing well. My name is Bailey from East End Children's Center, and today we are here to talk about another Black inventor. That's right, we've been talking a lot about Black inventors this month because it is Black History Month. So today we are going to be talking about our friend, do, 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 drum roll please, do, 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 Philip Downing. Yeah, we are going to be talking about our friend Philip Downing. Do you know what he invented for us to use? No, he invented something that we put mail into. Something that we put mail into our letters and our packages that go out to our friends and loved ones. Yeah, it's a mailbox! Philip Downing invented a mailbox. So a long time ago, before mailboxes were made, people were taking other people's mail. Oh my goodness, that is not very nice. So Philip Downing said, hey, I don't like that. I should make something that protects our mail so nobody can take our mail. And so whoever the mail is for can get their mail safely. So he came up with the mailbox. Actually, he called it the street letter box. But now it's turned into the mailbox. So we are going to be making our own mailbox. Yeah, and all you need to make your own mailbox is two things. You are going to need some paint or something to color on it with on this thing with like markers. Markers would always also work. And do you know what this is? A tissue box. Yeah, and a tissue box. Why do you think we're gonna be using a tissue box? How is this like a mailbox? Well, they are both boxes, that's for sure. But something else that's kind of like a mailbox with this tissue box is you can put things in it. You could put a letter inside of here. Yeah, so this is going to be our craft mailbox. So go ahead and get an empty tissue box whenever you have one and something to draw on it with like markers or you could use paint. That's what I will be using. But if you do, you need to have a, a parent or guardian or caretaker to help you and make sure you keep the area nice and clean. Okay, so I am going to get started on my mailbox and you can watch what I do or you can decorate it along with me because we want to make our mailbox pretty and nice, right? We want it to look nice and make it nice to look at. I'm going to be doing some, some decorations like I really like red, so I think I'm going to paint it red, but you don't have to decorate it like I do. You can decorate it however you like. I'm also going to put patterns on it. I wonder what you're going to put on your mailbox. I'm very excited to see. Okay, should we get started on our mailboxes? Awesome, okay, see you there. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our Kleenex box. This is a box that holds all of our tissues. It's small, but big enough to hold our letters. It has four sides and an opening for your letters. This is a place you can insert your letters and your mail. Just like this. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with some paint. I am choosing the color red. Red is one of my favorite colors. What color will you choose? I'm not painting on a table because I did not have a table to paint on, but you need to ask your caregiver to help set up a clean and safe space for you to paint. This is where my caregiver gave me to paint. So I'm gonna paint all the sides red but you know what? You could probably paint all the sides different colors. You don't need to do what I'm doing. This is for you to be creative. 
and paint the way that you like to paint. What colors are you going to paint on your mailbox? Don't forget to paint the top. Okay, so we just need to let the paint dry and if you don't like that you can see the design through the paint, the design of the box, you can paint it again when it's dry to make it harder to see. Okay, it's time to decorate once it is dry. So you gotta wait for it to dry and then you can decorate it with other paints and other decorations. What design will I make? Let's look and see. Okay, I did one dot and two dots, three. It looks like I'm making polka dots. White polka dots on a red background that kind of looks like Minnie Mouse's dress. Very cool. Let's see how many polka dots I end up putting on there. Wow, that's a lot of polka dots. I wonder what design I will make next and with what color? Hmm, what color does it look like I'm using? <gasps> looks like kind of a yellow or a gold. Yeah, it looks like a gold. And what kind of design am I doing? I'm doing squiggly lines, kind of like waves, like waves of water. Wow, I wonder what I'm going to do next with these lines. <gasps> Looks like I'm filling it in with paint. I'm filling in the bottom. What will you do for your decoration? What kind of design will you make? Will you make squiggly lines or will you make polka dots or will you do something completely different? Okay. Here is my next side. I'm going to put away the gold paint and decorate with a different color. Oh, an X. Oh no, I'm doing a bunch of lines that cross over. And it kind of looks like snowflakes. That is interesting. I wonder how many snowflakes I will put on. four snowflakes five oh man there's too many to count already okay it looks like I'm done with all my little snowflakes wow beautiful what will I do next it looks like I'm finding something different to paint with it's a little foam packing peanut, and it looks kind of like a star. I wonder what I'll do with it. How can this help me paint? I don't know. Oh, I'm dipping it into the paint. Hmm, I wonder what's next. Why am I dipping that into the paint? When I am painting my box. Oh, I made a stamp. Wow, now I can have designs from this on my mailbox. Wow, look at all the stamps that I use on that side of the mailbox. Beautiful. Let's count. How many stamps did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six stamps. Oh. Looks like I'm trying to show you something. What am I taking out of that bag? Oh, I'm taking out glitter glue. Whoa, glitter glue. What am I going to do with that? Gotta shake it good so it'll come out. Shake it 
Shake, 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 shake. Hmm, can you guess where I will decorate with the glitter glue? What's left to decorate? Looks like all the sides are decorated. <gasps> yes, I need to decorate the top. That's extra important because that's where all the mail goes. Oh, I'm doing more squiggly lines. On the left side. And on the bottom. On the right side. And on the top. Or now it's on the bottom because I flipped it over. And now what's left to do is to let the paint and the glue dry. But first I'll show you all the sides. Look at that glitter, gorgeous. And my stars. Wow, all these designs are so pretty. I'll give you the full look. What kind of designs did you do? Or do you think you will do? You can take some ideas from this or you can come up with your own. Yay, good decorating guys. Would you like to see the finished product of my mailbox? Here it is. This is what it looks like all dry. Yeah, I have a bunch of different designs all over it. Here I have some stamped stars. I have some polka dots here. I have some squigglies and I have some more stars. Actually, they look kind of like snowflakes. I have snowflakes on the side. And on the top, I have glitter glue all around. So this is my mailbox. Yeah, this is my mailbox just like Philip Downing made. So now I can put letters and packages in here to keep safe and I can give it to my friends. Or my friends can put letters in my box so I can come around and I can look and I go, oh, I have a letter in here. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining me for making our mailbox. And I hope you end up making one too. And if you do, you can take a picture of it and send it to our email. It's down below. So if you wanna email us a picture of your mailbox, you can send a picture of it down below at the email that is linked down there. Okay, thank you so much. And I'm about to send another letter. I'm about to send a letter and it's for you guys. It says, Goodbye, and it's going right in here into my mailbox. Okay, bye everybody. Thanks for joining me.